uh, proposed school budget did not pass tonight. Some folks hoped it would, others clearly not so much. In fact, the no's had it at 57 percent. Uh, the city clerk I spoke with said 24 percent turnout for those voters. City clerk also telling me she called this event unprecedented. She said in the last 16 years she can't ever remember uh, coming to not just one and now two uh, budgets that have not passed. So she was saying it's unprecedented but there was a ballot item part of the budget that uh, also might be some might consider a little unprecedented as well. I voted in favor of the budget, though one thing I would like to have seen the rebel name uh, issue separated from the general ballot. Those for and against the South Burlington School District budget can't stop talking about it. I think what really stuck out was the change on the name of the school and the mascot was what really got me thinking about to change some of my thoughts. After South Burlington's $50 million school budget was voted down on town meeting day last month, voters were back to try again, a revised budget with $800,000 cut out of it. But more than the $4 tax rate reduction for homes or the deferred building maintenance projects, most wanted to talk about the rebel-related budget item. We've had a name that a lot of people have been extremely proud of. It was part of their, their experience, that rebel, the rebel name. We don't want that to be taken away from them. We recognize that that was something that was important to them. But that said, once what unified them doesn't now unify our current student body. School officials say the rebel name has faint connections to southern rebels of the Civil War, a reference that some felt was inappropriate to be promoted on a high school sports jersey. The school board voted unanimously to drop the rebel name starting next year. That means new signs, new sports gear, and new uniforms. Usually new uniforms would cost about $20,000. This year, with the name change, it costs more than twice that, 47000 Because guess what? The students wear those uniforms and outfits. They get washed, and that's good, um, and they have to be replaced. The new name, which hasn't been picked yet, will become the mascot in the fall. Now, the city clerk also told me tonight they had to carefully hand count each of the paper ballots. Typically they do things electronically, but not tonight. She said they needed to save money on this election. Now, because the budget didn't pass, it is back to the drawing board for South Burlington School District. And the city clerk tells me she really hopes they get a new budget passed before May 31st, because if they don't, she tells me that could impact, maybe even delay tax bills.